after what felt like a never-ending night. Both Pico and BF were quite easily the opposite of well-rested. The two did not want to overstay their welcome, however, and left the House of Horrors which was actually a lot less scary in the daytime. On foot, they spent the better part of the morning heading across town to a local train station. The last thing they wanted to do was stick around long enough to get into even more trouble. Where's that darn train? Relax, it'll be here soon. I'm sure. It better come quick. We've already been set back twice. Yeah, I know. BF. I haven't seen you in weeks. EGF. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just out and about. Hey, you know what would be fun? I'd do it, just like old times. Ah, I'm sorry, I have to catch a train. We'll be done before it shows up. I promise it'll be quick. And you know how I feel about promises. Okay. Son of a... Wow, you handled that first song like a champ. You were always the better singer. You know, your parents and I have been worried sick about you. When are you gonna come back? You are coming back, right? I'm not. Chief, I'm sorry. Oh, enough of that silly talk. Maybe this will change your mind. All right, I really should be going now. BF, tell me something. Why are you so interested in this criminal? Criminal? Can we please not do this right now? It was supposed to be the two of us since the beginning. You promised. Our parents promised. Why are you doing this to us? To me? GF, you don't understand. You remember what he did back in high school, right? He is the whole reason we had to get privately tutored. GF, you are literally picking a school shooter over me. You know darn well that's not what happened that day. Without him, you and I could have died. No, Mommy and Daddy told me so. They would never lie to me. Listen, no you listen, you liar. You are coming home with me and we are going to leave out our happily ever after. Together! This... this wasn't how it was meant to go. I'm sorry. That life we... they made for us doesn't exist. It's not fair. Why... why him? I... I can't help who I love, GF. Neither can I. How could you do this to me? Oh man. Gee, don't be like that. We are still best friends. We can still hug things out, right? A white limo came to a screeching halt in front of them. Um, F, not to interrupt or anything, but we've got a problem. 